Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. In this video, we've got a new build to look at. This is build 18841 for Windows Insiders using the skip ahead option. This is actually a 20H1 build, which means this is a build that's going to ship in the first half of 2020. We're going to have, um, we're currently on 19H1 for in development, which is going to ship April this year. Uh, 19H2 is going to ship probably October this year, but this is a 20H1 build because Microsoft are looking to get an extra testing for this build because they say they've got things that need a longer lead time. But that means really that we don't have a lot to show in this because oh, despite this being a build from next year, we're still only we've not got any new features to show. So there's the, the there's the build string. You can see it's still labeled as 19. Which is what the current 1901 19H1 build is labelled. So, actually, there's not a huge amount of change in this. I'm only really recording this to make sure that I document all the builds. Uh, Windows Sandbox now supports configuration files, so um, you can configure things like uh, GPU, networking, shared folder, and they have a separate blog post on that. Uh, Windows Sandbox now supports. Uh, hotkeys in full screen and um, sandbox now um, is as a fix where unexpected errors were coming up when you were uh, deleting files in windows.old and all these changes are actually in the previous fast ring build so here's windows sandbox i'm not going to fire it up because i found it really slow on this uh, surface pro 3 build so there's a lot of fixes in there and you'll find a lot of all these uh, fixes are very common to both builds. But there's some other fixes as well like um, they fixed an issue with advanced display settings, they fixed an issue with um, the taskbar blinking if the adapter was uh, was attached to the device and less, to, less than 20% battery, they fixed some taskbar issues, um, they fixed some easier access issues. There's still some known issues with it. Um, Realtek sound cards, uh, Creative X5 uh, sound cards don't work. There's an interesting one that says you may experience an increase in start menu reliability issues on this build, and the fix will be included in the next flight. I've not really seen anything like that so far, so um, I only just really got this build up and running, so we'll wait and see. But that's it, really. that's all I can really show you on this build. There's a lot coming, but not much to show you in this build. So more of, of I'm doing these for document documentation, really. Anyway, so thanks for watching this build. This is build one eight eight four one. You can find full details on the digitallifestyle.com, and I'm on Twitter at Hyastixon.